Hi there, welcome to Big V TV. Great to have you with us. Youth League 2 Women, one of our favourite divisions mm -hmm. uh, every week when we film Big V TV. And I've got a really big statement to make today. No, no not for, yet. No, 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 thanks for the yep. drum roll. Okay, cool. I think that's good. Uh, there's a girl playing out of Keelor this season. Mm -hmm. um, and I've coached against her. She's only a young girl. She's only about 17-ish. 17-ish. Her name is Amy Smith. I hope I pronounced her last name right, but yeah. her name is Amy Every Smith. Every now and again it gets a bit tough. I'm telling you now, unless something unforeseen happens, um, uh, Steve. Yep. In other words, if she oh, like abducted uh, by aliens well, well, or something what, mate, like that, that. Well, that would be unforeseen. I don't know that anyone would see that coming, Steve. Right. So that's unforeseen. And if anyone did, that probably wouldn't uh, believe That's right. Um, right. So uh, banking on the fact that she plays the greater majority of the season can yep. i say that mm -hmm. no one will come within don't worry about the flemington straight the flemington straight doesn't even exist in this competition we're talking the nullarbor plane it's about 425 we're, we're, meters we're, talk, we're, to, we're talking about the nullarbor plane buddy. Wow. that's what we're talking about that's a lot longer no than one will straight. get within the nullarbor bloody plane of beating this kid for the mvp this season Four. she will win it in a canter it's only been round one it's round one justin okay i'm just putting no, it out yeah. there are a lot Take of great players in youth league two women and you're just you're all in all in on Amy Smith. I am all in on A. Smith, I'm telling you. Chelsea 47 went down to Keelor 54. Isabel Canella had 10 and 12 for Chelsea. Uh, Amy Smith had 23 and 10 for Keelor. All right, oh, that's, that's the starting point. That's okay. where I'm starting. Okay. Okay, good win, Keelor. Yep, very good win. So you're saying 23 and 10 is the starting. So that's that's the I'm just base. I'm just starting at that point. At each week? I'm just starting at that point. All right. Mornington 66 defeated Blackburn 54. Rachel Winters, a very good pickup for Mornington. Mm. Yeah, and I'm telling you, so and yep. I'm telling you now, keep an eye on the Breakers. They've got a very good coach down there. He's one of the best running around. Got a lot of time for him. Warners. Yeah. Glenn Warners. He's a very very good coach. Um, uh, Glennie Wandsborough and his girl, 66 defeated Blackburn, 54. Rachel Winner, 17 and 7. Aaron Clark had 13 and 11 for Blackburn. I like the young, the baby breakers they're baby calling breakers. Them. Baby I breakers. like the baby very, breakers. That's a very good win for them. Blackburn were probably middle of the table last year. They were a chance to make the final. Yeah, but th they were very the close. The chain wagon just fell apart down the stretch last season. Yeah, the but wheels fell off. Very good first up win for the breakers. Southern Penn, 67 defeated Sherbrooke, 31. Emily Baird had 11 and 9. Nine and three steals for Southern Penn. Bronwyn Rugrok? 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 Had seven points, 11 rebounds for Sherbrooke. Southern Penn, lazy 36 point margin. Yeah. Nothing to see there? No, I nothing, don't think yeah, so. Yeah, nothing to see there. Move okay, on, yeah, all right, we will. Yeah. Whittlesey 39 went down to Sunbury 52. Naomi Stevens, who's been a very good player in this competition for a while. Mm -hmm. um, and Sunbury runners up last season. Yep. She had 11 points, 14 rebounds. Run of the mill, a 13 point margin, but run of the mill for Sunbury. They start off on the right foot, Steve. They certainly do. Sunbury made that grand final last year, just fell short, and they'll be looking to go one better in 2016. Uh, very well said. <laughs> Keelor 87 defeated Sherbrooke 31. Not a good weekend for the Suns. No. Um, MVP Smith had 28 <laughs> points, 16 rebounds, Jeez. and seven steals. And how old did you say she was? I think she's about 17. Wow. I mean, she played, she's played 50 senior games wow. in Div 1 women. Um, Alex McKellar had 21 and 12 for Keelor. 56 point winners. Very, very good. MVP Smith, 28, 16, 7 steals. Jeepers. Keelor's team to watch this season. Keelor's a good team to watch this season. Steve, -o, don't worry about the ladder. It doesn't matter at the no, moment. Doesn't. Give us the Fixed round it. two games. Uh, Sunbury travel to Amy Smith. I think MVP gets up. <laughs> Kill. Yep. I think. Oh, mate, uh, this is a good game because Sunbury no mug. Yeah. But I'm telling you now, this kid is a jet, a jet. Where she will torch this competition this season. Sunbury win that one. Uh, a team beats one player. Oh. Southern Penn. So you're saying there's no one else to kill? Well, you're. Well, I just, haven't said that. You're all in on. No, 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 no. no. So, I haven't said that. Well, uh, Alex McKellar had 21 points and 12 rebounds for Kill. Yep. Against, well, if, against you're, Sher if you're all in on one player, she's got to do a lot, a lot of work. Did you? Who bought him this? Did you do this? Is this your doing? No, Nathan no. actually invited me. But right, next game. 
Maybe uh, it's not here. Well, that's right. That's Ira filled the, filled the void. Come on. Southern Penn and Whittlesey. I like Southern, Southern Peninsula Penn. to win that game at home. Yep. I think so they're also a very good team. So do I. Sherbrooke and Blackburn. Blackburn. Vikings for me. I think the Chan Wagon will get up. And then Mornington versus Amy Smith. Oh, and now, that, now that is... This is going to be a great game. In fact, game. it's a really good test for Killer this this week. And I didn't say that Killer was going to win the whole thing. But I think they're going to be a very good team, Killer. Killer. Um, but this is a really good test for them this week because they've got the best player in the competition. I've said that. They've, yep. they've got the best player in the mm -hmm. competition. They faced Sunbury, runners-up last season, and, and Mornington, Mornington, who I think have recruited very well and yep. Warners is an outstanding coach. It's a massive test for Killer this week. Um, I reckon they might get both, Steve. I reckon they might get both. I don't think they get any. I think Mornington win that game at home as well. Okay. Well, he's, hey, he's entitled to a tip, Beth. We can't, hmm. we can't take that away no. from him. He's entitled to an opinion. Yep. Everyone on the face of God's good earth is entitled to an opinion. Yep. Right or wrong? Right or wrong, <laughs> they're entitled to an opinion. <laughs> Who are you going for? Kill. Right, thank you. Steve. So they're going to be 4-0. Steve. After round two. Steve. Wow. Go away. See you next, <laughs> week. See you next week on Good Me TV.